Now, what you see on a nuclear submarine is the same as you looking at an iceberg. You only see a fourth of it. The rest of it is underwater. World War II, I was on the Tartog, T-A-U-T-O-G-199. We were traveling in a wolf pack. I was on uh, diesels, R boats, S boats for 28 years. I've been all over the world, in a country in the world, in a country I ain't been to. And I understand, everybody got something to offer, no matter who they are or, or, or and where they come from. Everybody got something to offer. Make yourself at home, 
I'm going out across the street to get us some water. Cause this water's brown, and I'm so embarrassed to have you here. But I want you around. Usually I'd sing or play you my guitar, but I know it won't get very far with you. Cause you like music that makes you move. Mine has a groove, but it's nothing I can do. Please know what I mean. See, no matter how smart you are, you you can always learn. See, when you think you know everything, you dumb person could walk in. I don't know if I can remember all the words, but this A minor is the only change, right? But the chorus has an F in it. Low man Johnson got his head in his hands. He makes a living way bigger, bigger than the start of a can. Low man Johnson got his head in his hands. He makes a living singing in the fiddle and band. He's got the hair down in his eyes, and his microphone is all covered with flies. And when he's done singing, he goes back to his room and gets in the bed with his cowboy boots. And he picks up a magazine, turns on the TV, lights a cigar as he's falling asleep. He's only a person who doesn't know shit. Yeah, nothing's happening, and that's about it. Little Rosanna comes. Texarkana She got $14 wrapped in a bandana And she came into town Not looking for much She found a hound dog And she named him Dutch She got a job at the arcade Taking quarters She was never too good at taking orders And one day she stopped Handing out change Kicked her boss in the shins And unplugged the machines She's only a person Punched out the clock that night. He walked home with his knuckles all bloody. He was cold and he had a headache. And when he got home, his wife was cooking some canned beans. And he took the money out of his jeans and he lit it on fire in the kitchen sink. And his wife handed him a drink. He's only a person who doesn't know shit. Yeah, nothing's happening, that's about it. Well, Jane came from a small town. Everybody just standing around, they got bingo games and the raffle, and everybody chewing tobacco. Well, she grew up kind of restless And all of her boyfriends wanted to be dentists And she got a job at the local truck stop Grew up fast and never did what she wanted She's only a person who doesn't know shit Yeah, nothing's happening And that's about it
Uncle John Swift is an astrophysicist. <laughs> That's a good word. John Swift is an astrophysicist. And uh, on top of that, he's, he's my best friend. And I think I've learned so much from him, just how his life can be so complex and, and so intense with, with astrophysics. At the same time, he knows how to walk away from it all and uh, really escape into solitude and, and just being alone and, and really enjoying it, peacefulness. John Swift could be making six figures building bombs, but he has no desire to do that. He doesn't like bombs. Nuclear weapons are so destructive and ballistic missiles are so swift that any substantially increased possibility of their use or any sudden change in their deployment may well be regarded as a definite threat to peace. We split an atom, we got all this computer technology and we can't even get along. What good is it if we can't even communicate and coexist peacefully? All that advancement and all that technology means nothing if we can't live in peace. So the greatest technological advancement in the world is peace. All computers and faxes and cell phones and stuff. It's great, you know, but it doesn't impress me like peace does. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, as the dew that ascend upon the mountain of Zion, for thou the Lord command the blessing. It says, oh, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity.
think the best thing that was ever said to me that kind of summed up everything that we do was uh, me paddling out one time with uh, Skip Fry, someone that's been surfing for the last 50 years and kind of seen everything come and go. He kind of summed it up with a uh, saying that Ponce de Leon, the famous world traveler that went everywhere looking for the fountain of youth, who never found it, all he had to do was jump off the side of the boat to figure it out. You know, the fountain of youth was sitting right there the whole time, he just didn't know it. Oh, don't you lose that light in your eye Never too old to love, never too late to try When somebody needs you, give them all you got to give When you're living to love and longing to live Stay young, keep your wheels in motion You've got everything that you Stay young with your rock and roll Cause the best things in life are free He was more of an outcast than, than anyone, you know, and I've heard rumors of him going through a lot, you know, like about some car accident and he had scars on his face and he walked down to the beach and had some brace on his back. He flips on the x-ray. He goes, he should be paralyzed from the waist down. He, he looked at my mom and he, he said, there's a good chance Taylor will never do any kind of physical activity again. He was like, I think your chances aren't very good about surfing ever again. Well, I want to be a pro, and he said, I wouldn't count on it, kid. Well, everyone was a staring right at me. Thought I was the pawn. Thought that I bought on. Well, so I looked for as far as I could see. Four way out, all out of the crowd. But then the billy billy bop I was baited and I bit to the prize. Oh, to start the mark of my demise. But then so alone I look for someone to share my strife. So I got sucked down with a sieve of life. Oh, but but there but billy club of balls and blues. I come and run, run and out to you. But I fled, well I took flight, but I was wrong, wrong, wrong. But at the time it feels so right. But be the bone, but did the bone. Baby did a little bit bone, but do the bone, baby, but the bone bone. But at the time it feels so right. 
Once you get to, you know, your, your sort of older years, you've got to be able to um, see the big picture. I mean, the reason I can get on with all the kids is because, you know, if they're in a good place and going for a wave, I'm stoked, you know. So I want them to go, you know. And usually, you know, and they go, oh, Nat, go, go, come on. You know, they're stoked when I get a good wave, you know, because I don't want that many of them. I'll tell you one of the nice things about getting old is that I want less waves. It takes less waves to make me quite satisfied. Some days I just sit down there and watch the kids, and it's a really satisfying thing to watch. Some individual might do something great, but he only was able to accomplish that because people before him set the stage for things that he was learning, whether it's a style or a approach or finding a, a curve on a wave, you know, you, you wouldn't find that unless someone else had found something to lead you to that point. I always th think that, you know, when I surf, it's not just me surfing, it's like everyone who influenced me. <laughs>
Fanning, I uh, was at a party with his brothers and some friends, and Mick decided to uh, walk home instead of uh, jump in a car like his brother did, and I think that was the last time he uh, saw his brother alive. Every time I see Mick Fanning surf, I realize that he's got a lot more driving him. They sing the great Queen Heroine, all the comfort that their music swells with all the yearning they are ashamed to sing for him who has built these shells that our spirits knock inside and weep for their release in the onrush of the tide of the Lord's great seas that will boil when he returns to pluck us off the face of the sad and dirty world I saw Sam Cook and he incurred it at the door of his golden realm. They sang his name, sweet Lord in heaven, and then the Lord, he let them in. So I still believe that he's like up there just looking over me and so sort of like an imaginary friend, but he was here one day.
Well, my mama told my papa just a day before I was born. Boy, child, coming now, now. Gonna be a rolling stone. 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 Yes, I'm going. Yes, I'm going. And your crying won't make me stay. Moy cry, dog, now, now. For you drive me away. 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 Well, I'm going, just going, going, just to make it lonesome here. Go and put your mama in all right. I was in Brazil, and uh, I was walking back from having a, a surf, and these two guys came up to me on bicycles and kind of started um, yanking at my board. And his buddy pulled out a gun and uh, put it to my head, and I remember seeing like the revolver part of the gun kind of click into the chamber when you pulled the hammer back. I shut my eyes again after seeing that and I just kind of sat there and prayed on my knees in the street. Um, and next thing I know, I kind of felt the gun go away and he wasn't yelling at me anymore. And I kind of heard the bicycle leaving and I opened my eyes and he was gone. I realized that my life didn't mean anything at all at that point to him. It was something he could take from me and not even care at all. Look at me now, I'm all dressed up in your words today. Do you think about me? What do you think about me? And if it comes down, it's still about the sweet little things you say. After all that I've run from, where the fuck did you come from? Butterfly, baby, I still have my doubts about you, cuz. Butterfly, cuz I can't find nothing bad about you, eh? Butterfly, you mess me up, you make my heart double beat eh? Butterfly, I don't know how it is you got inside of me eh? But you're in there now, oh you're in there now, you're in there now You made me yours, with your lovely cures Life is life, I don't know why it is I do things like this After all that I've come from, you're the woman I should run from Butterfly, baby I still have my doubts about you cause Cause I can't find nothing bad about you, eh? Butterfly, you mess me up, you make my heart double beat, eh? Butterfly, I don't know how it is you got inside of me. My knee started to hurt really bad, and uh, everyone just thought it was tendonitis. My friend's dad said, come on in for an MRI scan. My dad got home from work, and I said, Dad, how'd the scans look? And he pulled me aside and said, Britt, you better sit down for this one. It turned out it was bone cancer in my uh, left femur. And he broke the news to me that I was going to have to lose my leg. Well, it's been a couple months since I lost my leg, and this is my situation, and I'm dealing with it. And I didn't really know what to do, because this is the first time I've been out. Since my surgery, it was a whole new experience. I 
think that's what's keeping me strong through the whole thing. You know, is is not looking back, not looking at the past. You can deal with something like this and still live a full life. I can do anything. As long as you got your eyes open and you find something that you have faith in, nothing can touch you. It's, it's crazy how one experience can change your life forever. Gold teeth and a curse for this town We're all in my mouth Only I don't know how They got out here Turn me back into the bed I was when we met I was happier then With no mindset And if you turn It's right when you die Old and bony Dawn breaks like a bull through the hall Never should have called But my head's to the wall And I'm lonely And if you turn to me like In the last analysis, there are no good guys and no bad guys It's everybody doing the best they can You know how people don't want to believe. Nobody wants to believe. You gotta believe. You got to believe. Well, see, you learn from your mistakes. And you learn here from other people. See, no matter how smart you are, you, you can always learn. Stars will make you feel like you got friends. Follow the empty valley, past the hill, to the marshes of the estuary, calm and peaceful river. In the light of the moon, with the river, I do run, in the hope that one day I will dive beneath the ocean. And that this river will fall.
Baby, don't try, baby, the further you fall Even with all the money in the whole wide world Please, please, please don't pass me Please, please, please don't pass me Please, please, please don't pass me by Everything you know about me now, baby, you're gonna have to change hotel room. I'm wherever my mind takes me. I might be on a bus, but I'm really not on a bus. I'm wherever my mind needs to be to find its comfort. Ooh. So, I was born a couple a couple weeks before I think I was supposed to, and my parents were actually in the uh, in a village outside of Mexico City, just just traveling, and it it uh, happened to be sort of a party that night. And my mom and everybody were celebrating, and they were on peyote and playing music and dancing. And my mom was dancing, and as she was, her water broke. And so my dad and her went into the, the little house right there. And my dad delivered me, and as I came out, I was 
blue and purple and, and so my dad cut my umbilical cord and slapped my feet and brought the life back into me. The night I was born, my parents named me Baba Vishnu Suri after a purple Hindu god. It wasn't really until we moved back to America did I get a normal name. I was in Brazil and uh, I was walking back from having a, a surf and these two guys came up to me on bicycles and kind of started um, yanking at my board. And his buddy pulled out a gun and uh, put it to my head and I remember seeing like the revolver part of the gun kind of click into the chamber when you pulled the hammer back. I shut my eyes again after seeing that, and I just kind of sat there and prayed on my knees in the street. Um, and next thing I know, I kind of felt the gun go away, and he didn't, wasn't yelling at me anymore. And I kind of heard the bicycle leaving, and I opened my eyes, and he was gone. And I realized that my life didn't mean anything at all at that point to him. It was something he could take from me and not even care at all. Well, everyone was a staring right at me. Throwed eyes upon me. Thought that I bought on me. It's, it's crazy how one experience can change your life forever. Three way out, all out of the crowd. But then the billy billy bop, I was baited and I bit to the primes. Oh, to start the mark of my demise. But then so alone, I look for someone to share my strife. So I got sucked down with a sip of life. Oh, but but they have them, but Billy Club of Balls and Blues. I come and run, run, and after you. But I fled, well, I took flight, but I was wrong, wrong, wrong. But at the time, it feels so right. But Billy Bomb, but Billy Bomb. Baby, Billy Billy Bomb, but Billy Bomb, baby, Billy Bomb, Bomb. Was strong and the circle had sealed on me. Thought I was down, thought that I had found someone to follow, someone to be. Thought I figured out what it's all about. Oh, the pity, pity, flop, I was faded and I fit to the prime. Looked at my face, well, it wasn't mine. Oh, thinking I was right that maybe I should get away. But I think twice, well, then I stay. Oh, but, but they are on Billy Club of Bows and Blue. They come and run, run, and after you. But I fled, well, I took flight, but I was wrong, wrong, wrong. But at the time, it feels so right. But Billy Lee Bone, but Doodle Lee Bone. Got to, got to get warm again. Gonna heat it up oh, with my friend. Losing myself, I straight to the other side. Fasten my belt and enjoy the ride. Oh, ba 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 ba
So we go to the doctor and I remember just sitting there as he walked in and he flips on the x-ray. He goes, I can't believe this kid's even standing here. He, he should be paralyzed from the waist down. He, he looked at my mom and he, he said, there's a good chance Taylor will never do any kind of physical activity again. <laughs> aren't very good about surfing ever again. Well, I want to be a pro, and he said, I wouldn't count on a kid. <laughs> Things are going to go wrong every now and then. That's a fact. That's what shit and fans were made for. They do hit, you know. Once you get to, you know, your, your sort of older years, you've got to be able to um, see the big picture. Some days I just sit down there and watch the kids, and it's a really satisfying thing to watch. <laughs> Look at me now, I'm all dressed up in your words today. Do you think about me? What do you think about me? And if it comes down, it's still about the sweet little things you say. After all that I've run from, where did you come from? Butterfly, baby, I still have my doubts about you, cuz. Butterfly, cuz I can't find nothing bad about you, eh? Butterfly, you mess me up, you make my heart double beat, eh? I don't know how it is you got inside of me But you're in there now Oh, you're in there now You're in there now You made me yours With your lovely cures Life is life I don't know why it is I do things like this After all that I've come from You're the woman I should run from Butterfly 
baby, I still have my doubts about you, cause butterfly, cause I can't find nothing bad about you, ain't butterfly, you mess me up, you make my heart double beat, ain't butterfly, I don't know how it is you got inside of me,
Make yourself at home, cause I'm going out Across the street to get us some water Cause this water's ground And I'm so embarrassed to have you here But I want you around Usually I'd sing or play you my guitar 
guitar But I know it won't get very far with you Cause you like music that makes you move And mine has a groove But there's nothing I can prove Please know what I mean I say nothing I say yourself at home I'm going out across the street to get us some water Cause this water's brown and I'm so embarrassed to have you here but I want you around usually I'd sing or play you my guitar but I know it won't get very far with you cause you like music that makes you move and mine has a groove but there's nothing I can do please know what I mean when I say
Sort of the idea for shelter came out of, um, you know, that was about a y almost a year after Thicker, Thicker Than Water, and um, I started storyboarding and, and just throwing down ideas, random ideas, some ideas that had nothing to do with surfing, more music oriented, and just, just things that I was interested in. And um, after about six books of ideas filled up, um, I, I sort of just realized that I didn't want to do anything unless it was things that I was really, really interested in and wanted to do, and that was music, a little bit of history, modern surfing and people that I enjoyed being around and um, so got together with Taylor and, and, and he liked the ideas and, and it just sort of materialized from then. Um, I first heard about Shelter through Chris and um, he just told me what it was going to be about. Um, it was going to be deeper and more about the people that we uh, um, never really focused on where they came from or how they got there or what they're all about. For shelter to happen, um, it really, really took um, a, a lot of the, everybody involved had to give a lot. Um, we had 20 people living in an in an 80-year-old house. You know, it wasn't a uh, an easy place to live. However, it was fine, and it, we everybody worked and kept it clean and looked after themselves, which was in a way was kind of a new concept for everybody. But but deeper than that, um, we asked the guys to give of themselves in a way that they hadn't before. Subject matter that. Um, that m they hadn't given away yet, and oh, and um, it sort of at first was hard. You know, you're sitting there and you're realizing that what I say will be given to a lot of people. And I just sort of sat there with Taylor and and whoever we were work working it with at that time, um, and 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 just promised them that we would do the best to 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 tell their story in in a good light, or at least in a very realistic light. And so. Um, yeah, I mean it was, and then and then and that was on that level, and then musically everybody was playing every night and and and, and working um, to contribute to the f to the soundtrack of the film, which which I think worked out really well. And um, you know, there's you can hear people in the background laughing, and you can hear small mistakes, but that's what we hope to capture. That's what we were about, and it's this the it was the feeling that we were going for. Every night I'd I'd come back and 
play a couple of songs and you know Rob or, or just somebody or you know Chris or Dan would be like oh play that one song you know and I just pick up my guitar and I'd start playing and sure enough you know Rob would have his little mini disc thing there and he's so sort of indiscreet that it's just like I wouldn't even really know he was doing anything and and then later on, like the next day or something, we'd be going surfing, and he's like, yeah, I, so I got that mini disc. Um, I got that on mini disc. And, uh, and I'd always be the last one to hear it, you know? I was really taken aback by what Rob said in that film. Rob is a pretty amazing guy, and I mean, I, I've connected with that guy in a, in a pretty profound way, and it's, I'm, I feel really lucky that I, I'm able to grow with someone like Rob. And the things he says are so right on sometimes. And that's exactly what I felt about what he said in the movie. And, uh, you know, I, I saw it for the first time. I saw that part um, at the Ventura Concert Theater, and I was struggling to hear what he was saying, but I couldn't really hear very well. But what I did hear, I was like, I, I had just total goosebumps. and. I was really, I felt touched pretty deeply. And what he said about, about, um, about balancing things is, is pretty right. And the balance for me, the balance between, ast uh, the balance for astrophysics is music. And um, it's pretty crazy. It's, it's a lot like a job. There's a lot of deadlines and there's a lot of things. There's a lot of people telling you what you need, what they think you should be doing. And it kind of grates on you after a while, you know, it's hard to deal with. And so, you know, whenever I get caught up in all that stuff, the thing that rescues me is music. And, and most of my music comes from me being alone, really. And um, I think you can tell with a lot of the music I play that it comes from that sort of, that realm of being alone. You know, it's not, it's not like party music or, uh, you know, like I've made songs where I've been sitting with a bunch of friends and made songs and they come out completely different. But music to me is, is a solace and it's a place where I, it gets me back, gives me perspective sort of, and that's where most of the songs come from and, and that, that's the balance. Fernie too? Yeah, Fernie owns El Nino, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. So in the front, in the front window, they have uh, four of, or no, it's I think six of his stained glass and uh, they're really amazing. Just check them out. I haven't worked on a movie project before like this and um, especially like the depth involved um, the orchestration and stuff like that it's pretty cool because they asked Todd Hannigan of Brother in Studios and I to um, work on some soundtracks to some pretty intense parts of the movie and Chris approached me and told me about um, um, the Brit section the cancer and stuff and um, so when I accepted it I knew it was a pretty pretty heavy subject matter and I have a brother that had cancer as well. He's a survivor, so I told Chris about that, and he realized I would take it pretty, pretty, um, with a lot of heart, <clears throat> a lot of sincerity. <laughs> my whole life long, keeps the girls away. Um, I just, it's pretty interesting. It's so similar to the human voice. I mean, the same hertz range as a, as a voice. And, um, you know, other inter instruments like guitar and piano, um, it's hard to get between the cracks, you know, there's frets and there's, you know, the piano keys. What's interesting about the violin is you can slip and slide and, um, has a lot of human voice qualities like hissing and screeching and, and crying and laughing and stuff, giggling. So that's what I like about the violin. Is it's, and also it's, um, it's amount of depth, you know, it's ability to, to form textures and atmospheric sounds.
always, um, when he has projects in his mind, um, and he has a lot of projects in there, um, <laughs> he, he just starts doing sketches. And for me, it's a great selling point to, for me to be involved and me to understand his vision and to get on the same page and so we could move forward on it um, by going off these sketches and talking about them and, and figuring out what to do and how to do them. And so he would show me the sketches and, and then, um, then we'd try to implement them and Chris would probably be able to explain. Well, basically, yeah, I get excited about projects and I, and I, and I, and I, go, I give these spiels, you know, and um, they never work unless I have something to, you know, accompany them. So a few years ago, I started doing you know, these little storyboarding, and I've always enjoyed you know, drawing. And, and, and um, so I've noticed that over the years, that if you have some crazy idea, if you can just sort of show it, you know, that you have much more input from an excitement from the people, you know, um, and it makes things come to life. Like in, in, in shelter, we have a helicopter shot, you know, and, and just I remember trying talking to people about it, and it goes nowhere. But if, with with thumbnail sketches, it really sort of comes to life. Well, Mark Spinazzi um, has been living at the farm for 15 years, basically by himself. Roommates come and go. And um, Bob McTavish is a good friend of ours, um, and he's a legendary surfboard shaper, innovator, amazing surfer, and um, you know, he's in his, in his late 50s now. And uh, me and Taylor got there two and a half weeks early to set up, to, to make the sketches in my books come to life. And um, it just so happened it was during a big, uh, big blues, festival. blues festival, so it was hard, really hard. And it worked in, in to our advantage because all the places that were kind of normal and cool and neat were, um, you couldn't get your hands on. So um, I asked Bob McTavish if he'd help us, and uh, I had told him what we had in mind, showed him my drawings. And ten minutes later he saw Mark at a, at a store, mentioned it to him. We had been looking at houses all night and day. We went, we went out, we saw the farm, and we knew that that was the place. Shelter started in Australia anyway, with an impromptu meeting with Bob McTavish in a hardware store. Bob said, oh, Mark, I've been looking for you. He said, that old farmhouse, do you still live there? I said, yeah, Bob, I do, as a matter of fact. We hadn't seen each other for 12 months, and uh, it was just an impromptu meeting over some nuts and bolts. and." Uh, he said, yeah, some friends have just landed from America, just phoned, and they've asked, do I know a property that uh, they could f base a, a surfing mov movie from? And I said, yeah, that sounds okay. I mean, it was a bit quick, but all good creation can begin that way. No, Glen Burnie will never be the same again. Uh, wherever I look, there's the, there's the faces of, of of these guys that became such a part of my life. I still hear the conversations, I still see the racks of surfboards in the garage, I still see the, the pile of dishes that need washing and, and love those memories. I still see the, the laughing, the, the playing of football, the baseball, the just hanging out and having fun. Um, I still see Great days in the sunshine, just hanging on the sand dunes, watching the next barrel. Uh, yep, I still see it all. Follow the empty valley, past the hill, to the marshes of the estuary, calm and peaceful river. In the light of the moon, with the river, I do run the hope that one day I will dive beneath the ocean. And that this river will forever run. them um, plant this tree because it sort of looked, we wanted like a shelter kind of tree looking thing for the premiere we thought it'd be a good idea so we had them plant this. 
I'm not too excited about the this part of it. I wanted more of like a singular trunk. But you know, it gets the point across. So we're happy with that. We got that going for us, which is nice.
Baby, the further you fall Even with all the money in the whole wide world uh, Please, please, please don't pass me Please, please, please don't pass me Please, please, please don't pass me by Everything you know about me now, baby You're gonna have to change You're gonna call it by a brand new name Please, please Make yourself at home, cause I'm going out across the street to get us some water, cause this water's brown. And I'm so embarrassed to have you here, but I want you around. Usually I'd sing or play your margaret. 
guitar But I know it won't get very far with you Cause you like music that makes you move And mine has a groove But there's nothing I can prove Please know what I mean I say nothing I say nothing I say nothing I say Things that I buy along the wall that works as my bed I still have a phone that rings all day I still have things I wish I would have said Please know what I mean I say nothing I say nothing I say nothing I say This whole thing's been hard on me It breaks my heart seems strange to me it breaks my heart do you know what that means it means nothing so make yourself at home I'm going out across the street to get us some water cause this water's brown and I'm so embarrassed to have you here but I want you around usually I'd sing or play you my guitar but I know I say